Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to install the latest PyCharm on your system. So let's see how to do that. We'll start from the very beginning. So the very first thing that you have to do, go to Google and then type download PyCharm. Okay. And the very first link that you find, which is jetbrains.com. And this is where you will be having the option to download PyCharm. We will click on it. So PyCharm is one of the integrated development environment, uh, one of the very popular integrated development environment uh, for Python. Um, now there are two different options here. One is the professional option. The other one is the community. Professional would cost you. It is only 30 days trial available. After that, it'll, you know, you have to pay for the license. The community remains free. Right. So with this, we will go with the community edition, hit on download. Now to save time, I have already downloaded the file on my system. I'm going to double click on the file. This will take a bit of time and you might get a, a prompt. Hit on yes, the Windows prompt that you get, right? Do you want to allow the app to make changes? Say yes. You might have not seen that. Uh, it will come on your laptop. So please click on yes. Okay. Now in this one, how do I install from uh, step by step, right? From the basics we will learn. Now the first one, it tells about welcome Py PyCharm community edition uh, setup. Hit on next. And it asks you to select the destination folder. So by default, it would it will be in the program files, JetBrains PyCharm community edition. So this is the default folder. In case you would like to change that, you can of course do it. It also gives you the space required is 1.4 GB, uh, quite a huge file. And then space available on your on my laptop is so and so. I would not change the path. I would keep it as it is. And I'm going to hit on next. Okay. Now this is the window where most of us would have question. Now we will go one by one. The first one create desktop shortcut. So this is quite simple to have a desktop shortcut on my desktop. Now the second one which says update path variable restart needed and it says add bin folder to the path. So I have given a check mark. Now what is the meaning? What is bin? So the bin folder is the folder which would have all the executable files for the application to run. Right. So any application you take, there will be a bin folder which is responsible or which contains the executable files to execute the application, to run the application. So now if you want this PyCharm to open in path the command prompt, okay, Windows command prompt. If you would like to open PyCharm in Windows command prompt and run codes, then you should select this. So this is an additional option. You might go for it. So generally it will be useful. So, you know, sometimes we can use the Windows command prompt and then try to run the Python codes. So this is the option you should give a check. Okay, this generally will allow you to execute PyCharm through the Windows command prompt. Okay, so this is understood. The next one, update context menu. So what is this context menu? I will tell you. So um, Python update context menu. Yeah. Okay, look at this. Here it says, right, uh, when you right click on a file or a folder, uh, on a file, then it'll you will have the context menu. Open folder as PyCharm Community Edition project. So this is what it is. If you would like to have this context menu, so when you right click on uh, on uh, on any file, right, you get a context menu. So in this context menu, you would like to add this open folder as PyCharm Community Edition. So for that, you need to just enable this specific option. Okay, add open um, folder as project. PyCharm Community Edition. So this is what about that and um, th that's about it. And then the next one is create association. What is this dot? What is this? What is the meaning of this? So any dot py file that I may be having on my system. For example, if I go to my Python. So these are all the dot Python files. So now by default right now it's opening using the idle Python idle. Okay. So if you when you install Python. So I have already a video how to install Python. I have gone through the complete setup and this is the latest uh, available Python version. So if you would like to open Python using the idle integrated development learning environment that that is 
the application provided by Python when you install it. So um, if you want to open any file, then by default, this is what it will open, it, right? The moment you click on it, for example, the moment I open it, um, this is going to open in the uh, idle, um, right? Uh, it's going to take a little time. If you wanted to open all this kind of a .py file in PyCharm, then you should go ahead and select .py. Okay, that's about it. Now, let's select all these options and then hit on next. Right? And the next option that you get, select the start menu folder in which you would like to create the program shortcuts. You can also enter a name to create a new folder. So I would leave it as JetBrains. I won't, don't want to change this. I'm going to hit on install. Okay. Um, you can see that on the desktop, um, a shortcut has appeared. Now this is going to take a little time. I'm going to pause it here. And once it is to the end, I'm going to resume back. So I am towards the end of the installation. Now, this is the final uh, window where it is going to tell you completing PyCharm Community Edition setup. Your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of PyCharm Community. So you need to just re restart your laptop. So I want to manually reboot later or reboot now. You can choose any of the option and hit on finish. So that's all about PyCharm and I'm going to uh, help you out, right? How do you uh, make certain changes or how do you run uh, Python files, which I'm going to demonstrate in my next video. So here you can see on my system, I have the latest PyCharm available. So thank you very much for watching. We are going to again meet in the next video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please do subscribe and do share. Thank you. Take care.